Tally here, pip pip, good day and welcome to another Inventor Tips and Tricks tutorial. Right, this one's a complimentary video to my Inventor Studio tutorials that I put out earlier. It's all about Codex. Now Codex, uh, Codex is the algorithm, I guess you could say, that forms the video file that you save from Inventor. It's what makes up all the little bits and processes it into a video file. So when you say to Inventor, right, render, make an AVI file, it needs a codec to generate the contents of the AVI. That's, I think, the simplest way I can put it. But out of the box, Inventor gives you very few options in the way of codecs to use. So when you do finish your animation, you've set it all up, you've got your timeline along the bottom, you click Render Animation. Uh, in the output area, uh, you click Render, and, well, actually, I suppose you could hit the Browse button first. And you've got two options. You've got WMV, which... I recommend you don't use because the codecs for WMV files are absolutely awful and there's, you've got a few options in the way of customizing them. Uh, but the best option is the AVI file. But, but, when you select AVI file and then hit render, the codecs that you've got here, they call them compressors uh, out of the box, they give you absolutely dreadful codecs to use. And the best one, the best one that actually looks of any sort of acceptable standard is one called Full Frames Uncompressed. And like this one's out of the box. It's a complete raw AVI file with no compression whatsoever, which looks fine. Visually, it looks fine, but the file size is phenomenal because there's no compression. So a 10 second render can be upwards of 100 megabytes in size or more. And when you start looking at a minute's worth of a render, you've got like a, you know, maybe upwards of a gig in file size, which is just unmanageable. You can't email that to nobody. You can't, you know, you're going to have to put a, a one-minute video on a DVD. Come on. No, 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 no. So you need to find a codec. So codecs are, oh, the codecs are a dark art. They really are. If you Google codecs, you get sent to all kinds of free websites that offer, you know, click this button. It's not really a download button. It's really an advert. Or, you know, those, those type of websites which are just nasty. They're just pure, hardcore nastiness. So, here's a tip. Open up your Internet Explorers or Google's Chrome and go to www.xvid.com or xvid.org. The website slows balls. It'll get there eventually. Once it loads, click Get Video Codec and then download the Xvid for Windows, assuming you're on Windows. And that'll download a little small executable, which is safe, as far as I know. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not a, I mean, I'm, I'm no ambassador for this website, but as far as I know, it's safe. And then install that codec. Now, reboot, once you've done that, reboot your inventor. And then when it comes to rendering your animation, and you click render, you'll have an option here for the XVID MPEG-4 codec. You can configure it if you want to. So you've got some options here. I'm not, I haven't tested whether or not these actually make much of a difference. If you want to, you could just leave it bog standard. Leave it bog standard, click OK, and then just let your render go through and finish. Uh, I, haven't, I, haven't actually got, I haven't actually got an animation. <laughs> I'm just showing you the codec. But from one of the earlier tests that I did, a video which was 66 megabytes on one pass using uncompressed, when I used the XVID codec, it was about one megabyte. So that's the kind of scale we're looking at here. It's phenomenal. It's just incomparable. So, as far as I know, that's a really good codec to use. The visual quality of the final AVI using that codec is just as good, as far as I can see, as uncompressed. It's a superb codec. Um, when you're sending the video to people, you might, in some cases, depending on the PC you're sending it to, you might need to send them the... Um, you might need to send them a copy of the codec. I'm not too sure. You'd have to sort of play that by ear. Uh, but either way, that's, uh, that's a good codec to use if you want to do some animations in Inventor. So, thank you very much for that. Press like if you liked this, if it was useful. Comment, etc. And subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.